when I bought this special edition Lang Linda Nelson Stocks calendar uh, during a haul, Esther C. said, would you please show your calendar when you actually take it out and start to use it? So I said, of course, absolutely, uh, because this is my favorite. Linda Nelson Stocks is my favorite uh, painter for these calendars because Lang makes a lot of different calendars. A lot of them are focused, sorry about the clickety clack of Guido, a lot of them are focused on animals, like you might get one that's 12 months of cows or 12 months, months of ducks or something like that. I like to have um, some interesting things going on in the picture for me to look at. So, uh, because this is going to be up all month long and so I just don't want to get bored with it and I would get bored with just a, a regular picture. Um, so this was $16.99 and usually you don't get them cheaper than that and you open it like this from the back and it comes uh i think they all come with a free print now i have never hung these up uh, but i'm sure that's what the intention is is for you to get a picture frame and hang it up now <laughs> it's gonna sound weird and and corny but just because I like the calendar does not mean this is the kind of artwork I like that's just I'm not into um folksy I'm not into crafty there's nothing in my house that's crafty like this at all but since it's a calendar and it's a busy calendar that I think that's just why I like it I just like it that it's so busy so um and if you all have any recommendations for ones that you like year after year that are busy, that have some pictures you think I may like, um, then let me know. I think uh, if I ever got like a Norman Rockwell, I would like those. Although, I love Norman Rockwell, but his are like, you know, just a couple of people in the picture, you know, and it's a basic picture. I love his artwork, but it doesn't have the detail that these have. So anyway, there may be something out there that I've missed. So I'm going to uh, show you the 12 pictures that are in the calendar. I'll probably put music over this part because there's no need for me to talk. Um, I usually like Halloween and Christmas the best of all. Uh, but we might get a pretty um, 4th of July picture. I don't honestly remember what 4th of July looked like. So, here we go. Kevin has started another metal earth. Uh, Kevin, which uh, set are you doing today? 
You're doing a Disney one, aren't you? Disney Parks Train. Disney Parks Train. And I, uh, does it say Casey Jr. It on doesn't. it? Uh, what does it say right there? Disney Parks. Oh, it just says, <laughs> I'm thinking this is Casey Jr. Casey Jr.'s coming round the pen. You know that? Yeah, I mean, it actually says Disney Parks on one of these. Things. Right. Yeah. But I, s I do have to say, I like the directions. They're in full color. Uh huh. Um, so, like, like for part number two, they point at one of them, and the other ones are the same color. So, see, they point at this number two, mm -hmm. but then there's actually um, six all, all together. There's one of them, and then they don't label all the rest of them, but they put them in the blue color. But in the other ones, they just point at one of them and say, figure it out. So, <laughs> so you one, have to look around for ones that look the same. The one that you built, the uh, St. Basil's Cathedral, was right. the last one you built. Was it not in color? No, no, it's all black and white. Oh. Like I said, if you have four or something, they'll point at one, maybe two of them, and then you have to figure out the rest of them. I'm wondering if it's because these Disney ones are new. It could that, be like they're, they're new brand ones. new kits. Yeah, it could be. And I'm wondering if they're making all the new ones now in color. Yeah, I don't know. The, I mean, the other one had a little bit of color, like they would show the little triangles in the blue. But like this one shows the engraved side, whereas the other one would just shade it and stuff. So right. it's just a little bit different. Like, like you see, said, it could be because it's new. You're starting out with the wheels. The wheels. You've already at three through. yeah um, and who are you watching um he's co carnage he's playing stone hearth I don't and know. it's a live stream yeah he's the only one live streaming right now so i figured i'd just listen to him kevin finished his train and on one side it says um walt walter e disney on this side of the train and then on the other side, it says, oh, it says Walter E. Disney. Okay, I thought it said Disney Parks or something. Disney Parks Train, but that's just the name of it. So there it is. And that took, uh, it took longer than I would have thought because there's so many little pieces on it. You can see all the, the little pieces that he had to add. If I did go Can I you say Happy New Year? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Singing. Sing, huh? Singing. Are we gonna sing Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells is over. It's over? Not over. Why, why is it over? You can't see. Why can't we sing Jingle Bells? Okay. Okay. Jingle Bells. I say maybe it's just on. Let's sing. Oh, where is it? I've got to tell you something. You'd be proud. Uh, but you're not. Dip a dip a boop. He immediately grabs it. Now my oopsies. You don't want to see it. Thank you. You're the same. That was beautiful. Play games. Okay. Okay, we can play games. Andrew fixed a bunch of Gavin's people. Are these the, oh, these are the ones that he got for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Ah, uh, and the alien. That alien looked wicked. There was a black one, too. Yeah, there's other ones. I didn't put all of them out. So these are just the ones that you found. No, I just posed, I just posed them. I, yeah, but I like it. I like them out like this. I think they this, this adventure and is the bad guy. I like them. Are you, are you going to get a story tonight? Mm, later we can. Oh, uh, later we can? You see Amelia's toy became... Yeah. Hero. It's okay. So did the dog um, and all the others. Have you even seen this thing? Uh, I know the fire lights up. Um, Wait. Oh, that's nice. I'll show you. I'll it glows in the dark. Okay, we're gonna see. And look, oh, you just wow. you pop, you, all you do is you pop the tire. That's cool. He pops right out. He loves this. We saw it, Gavin. We saw the fire in the dark. Yeah. I show you. You show me. Show me. Ooh. I like that, Gavin. Is that when the little people go camping? Don't you have a stuffed animal that lights up? A sheep or something? What does it look like in the dark? What does it look like in the dark? I'll show you. Well, show me, I don't see it. He's over in the corner. Go get him. I've never seen it before. 
Okay, let's do this. Let's. <laughs> oh, Gavin, that's cool. Daddy loves in the dark. This loves in the dark. This one. That glows in the dark too. Anything that lights up. Ooh, Dad. You like all the lights, don't you? That is awesome. That's that little people thing. I didn't know it sang, or at least I didn't remember it did. I didn't remember it sang a song. Hi. You want to see yourself? Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'm trapped. Hi. You're angel. Do you want to look at yourself? No. Do you like no. help you? What are you doing? What's wrong? What happened? What happened? You're trapped. Oh my Gavin. Oh. My sister beat me on a chair and got over here and beat me back. Say Happy New Year. Oh, no, don't be trapped. Don't be trapped, my dear. Today. And it was racing. I was racing. Uh huh. Racing. And did you did you eat dinner? And I went in jail. And the papa put me in jail. And did you did you go anywhere? Did you go bye bye in the car? No. Wider. No. No. Like creeper game. You played the creeper game. Can you say good night? Are you gonna go to bed? Hello. Are you gonna go to sleep? Hello. Say good night. Good night. The monster at the end of this book, starring lovable furry old Grover. Maybe you do not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book, and there is a monster at the end of this book. <laughs> but this will stop you from turning pages. See, I am. Tying the pages together so that you cannot. You turned another page. <laughs> you do not know what you're doing to me. Now stop turning pages. <laughs> there. I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it and we will not get any closer. The monster 
at the end of this book. <gasps> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> the end. Okay. Love you. Okay. Now, give me a kiss. No, this one. Are you allowed to have two books? Yeah. Did they say you could have two books? Did they say you could have two books? Mm -hmm. no. Okay, but then you gotta go to bed after this, okay? The Queen's Hat. I love this book. This is a cool book. The Queen was on her way to visit someone very special when the wind went swish. The wind took the queen's favorite hat right off her head. Tower Bridge. Do you know Papa got up there and laid down? Papa got up on the bridge and he laid down. And all over oh, Big Ben. That's my favorite page in the book. I love that page. And I got there. This is, uh, this is the Cards Against Humanity box that we got Andrew for Christmas. This is the bigger, blacker box. Oh, wow. Good grief. Anyway, this What is, is the Hillary card? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this is what we own mm -hmm. already. You bought this and these and this and this. All of these. Yeah, we bought you a lot. You bought all of this. So this is all that we'll, we'll be playing with tonight. That's a lot. So that's what we have to go through. Um, this is the vote for Hillary pack. The deal is what they were doing. They sell. They sold vote for Hillary vote for trump cards. Mm -hmm. And they Two were trying to see. Um, hey, which one to sold the most? Okay. And, finally, and they donated it all to um, to Hillary. <laughs> so they're for Hillary. Oh, yeah. Well, I bought one of each. <laughs> they said flat out, um, buy one to vote for who you want, but we're going to give all the money to Hillary. Um, for example, um, <laughs> this the Bernie Sanders revolution is one of her cards. Letting Bernie Sanders rest his world weary head in your lap. Slapping Ted Cruz over and over. <laughs> the ball drop in New York we have about 30 seconds how far over was she <laughs> she was on crazy. zero and she was on one have a year let's do it so we bought this big container of these begging strips, begging poppers, bacon poppers, bacon and cheese flavor for Guido, but Guido cannot take a bite that big. So Kevin is gonna sit here and cut them all in half and then he's gonna put them back in the container and we really like the container for storage. We'll probably mm -hmm. keep that and use that for other things. And well, then- for or, Yeah, dog treats. That's what I mean, for uh, more other, other, dog other dog treats, not like a food for us thank you very much so we just did a review of these welch's um fruit and yogurt and spoiler they're very good and so i'm gonna put them in these um 
uh, Ziploc snack bags. I don't know when you'll see that review, um, but you're supposed to get, it says about 20 pieces or, um, or 30 grams or 110 calories, but I'm going to double that for me. Um, I'm going to do 60 grams and say 220 calories. So... Smell. He smelled, yeah, yeah, usually he's, yeah, look at him. What are you doing? And yeah, see if he's able to eat that. Yeah, he's kind of following around. Yeah, it's, it's was gone. he good? <laughs> yeah, usually I give him one at the beginning and one at the end. Okay, I'm using a bowl because it's easier this way. And I'm looking for 60 grams, so we'll see uh, how many of these you get for 220 calories. If it will go to zero, oh, there we go. Okay, that's 61 right there. So that's how many of those you get for 220 calories. It doesn't look like much. I'll have to eat them really slow and one at a time. Um, so that I just wanted to show you how many you get. So my dad got a sound bar, a new sound bar for Christmas. So he gave us his old sound bar and Kevin's wanted a sound bar for years. Ages. So right now we have Lord of the Rings on and this is how it would normally sound. And now turn your soundbar on. Yeah, mute this. Okay, you mute the TV. Oh my. Okay, now all we need is a big screen. I've been trying to get you to talk into that too, but you won't do it. If we had a big screen, I would want to attach it to that wall. See how much space there is on that wall? You know what though? I think we're fine and I think that's too loud. 65 inch. I think that's too loud for me. But you like that. Uh, will that only be on special movies or will that be on TV? Will that be on, all the time? You turn off. I know, but what will you prefer? If you're out here just watching TV, will you turn the, the sound bar on? That's what I'm watching on TV. <laughs> You gotta admit, the sound's a lot deeper. The sound's a lot deeper. It really is a lot deeper. You I agree. You could escape me. So I realized I said this was Lord of the Rings, but actually it's The Hobbit. I consider The Hobbit part of Lord of the Rings. Do you, Kevin? It's happened before, but yeah, it's still part of the same. I still, yeah. The same family. Yeah, it's still part of Lord of the Rings to me. So anyway, I wanted to correct that before any of you all said anything. I know that it's The Hobbit. Well, I was reading through comments, and Rachel left me a comment um, during the Pringles review. She noticed that Kevin and I say greasy like greasy like with a z and she said that she says greasy with a, with like the letter c someone else said they live in california and they say greasy so uh rachel said you ought to ask people uh in your next vlog she said it would be interesting so i i, I think that's interesting too so i'm asking you all no matter where you live how do you say greasy uh, do you say greasy or do you say greasy? Um, it's just one of those things that uh, it's for me It's not a right way or a wrong way. It's just the way you grew up saying it. So um, so I'm doing that I'm answering comments and um, One of the first things I did uh, for the new year was I went through my emails and I started deleting uh deleting companies from my for my email for in instance bath and body works bath and body works they like to send me like three emails a day i'm not even kidding um so you can 
cut down on the frequency like if you go to the website you can cut down on how frequently they send you an email but i don't want them at all because i know that i'm not it's they're coming out they'll be coming out with like summer fragrances i'm not interested in those su summer fragrances i like um like the the pumpkins and the marshmallows and stuff like that the stuff that comes out during the fall so i never buy the bath and body Works stuff that's in the summer um so um i deleted that and if i'm interested you can sign right back up i mean it's not like they got offended so they're not going to let you sign back up you can sign back up anytime um i deleted them I deleted uh, Bye Bye Baby, uh, gosh, I deleted, I think, World Market, um, Wayfair, there was a ton of places that I deleted from, from my inbox. Uh, now, I did keep the Disney store because I do like uh, to buy things from Disney throughout the year, and I will buy things, like, right now they're having their twice upon a year sale I haven't bought anything yet but I, I still might because I'll buy things and I'll store them up in the attic all year long until a birthday comes along or Christmas um, uh, because it's good to get those things on sale but that was one of the first things I did for the new year because they just they send me way too much stuff and I don't like it I don't like waking up and having to, to deal with all that I kept Kohl's uh, just because Kohl's will send you a coupon for your birthday month. Like right now, they sent me $5 off because January is my birth month. And so I thought that was nice. And I don't know if whether I'll use the $5 or not, but it was not, it's nice that it's there. Um, but I kept very few places. I deleted the vitamin shop um, because the thing that kills me about the vitamin shop is you can't buy single bars. You have to, for the most part, uh, you know, they'll get new bars in, which is awesome. But you have to buy an entire box of them, and I'm not going to do that. I want to buy one bar. You know, I might not like might not like it at all, and then I'm stuck with them all. I am with Ashley right now. She had the day off work, and so she is, we've come to Lexington, and now we're headed back home. And she's going to take me on what she said was a very pretty drive. And I don't have Kevin's GoPro, so I'm just going to vlog it on this camera, and I'll put some music behind it. I might talk if I need to. did a good job driving me home it wasn't that bad uh, but I um, bought her a little sussy while we were out she uh, saw this we went to Target together and she saw this Dove solid milk chocolate and I figured you all would want to see what it looked like so it is literally a piece of solid milk chocolate now I wonder if that paper has this oh it does give thanks for chocolate that's cool. That's what. How many calories is it? We don't want to know. An eighth is two forty, and there's eight servings in there. I don't think that's bad. Okay, we're over at Gavin's, and the sun is shining. And Gavin, what did you find? Uh, lots of rainbows. Lots of rainbows. Can you show the rainbows to us? What's two three? Five. That's not a rainbow. Where's a rainbow? Right, here. right there. Rainbow. And there's a rainbow right there. Right here. Uh huh. Just move. He said he wants Onyx to, has to move. Onyx has to move from in front of the door so we can see the rainbows. Mm. They didn't last long, did they? There's still one on the door. You probably can't see it in the camera. So we've come to yeah. see Kevin and Amelia. Say hi. Hi. 
Yeah, she said hi. You're a very smart girl. Ah, and then she's going to pull my hair. <laughs> that was very smart of her, wasn't it? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm You're in jail. Well, we'll just keep you. Well, Papa did it? That was so bad, Papa. I did that a lot of them. Amelia got a stroller for Christmas, and so we put we put her in it, and now Gavin's pushing her around the house. She likes that, Gavin. Is that fun? Gavin, yeah, is that fun? You like that, don't you? <laughs> Gavin, she likes it. <laughs> Is that fun? Dad came over because he went to Costco and bought this big thing of diapers. 252 diapers for $35. Say hello. Say hi. You you look, you want to see yourself? Watch. Look at me. Yeah. Look. Look at that baby. Who is that? It's a little baby. And <laughs> you should give me that. Uh Okay, Gavin chose a movie he wants to watch. What are we gonna watch? Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. And you said mommy would get mad? Yeah. Why will she get mad? At you. Why will she get mad at me? And I will. Will she get mad at me if we turn the movie on? Yeah. What, do you still wanna watch it? Yeah. So is this your idea? Yeah, we can find a troll work. We can tell mommy it was your idea. That's our idea, Mom. Yeah, it's your idea. So you can... Okay, so we'll put on Buzz Lightyear. So we can't watch the movie because the remote is gone. And you have to have the remote to turn on the movie. It's probably under there. It's not under there because I looked. Um, it's probably under there. I looked. It's not under there. It's probably under here. I looked. I used my flashlight and I looked. It's not under there. It's probably here. Under the desk. I looked. I looked under the desk. It's not under there. Where else would it be? It's floating. Mil Mil is in a trash can. You think Mil Mil put it in the trash can? I looked in that trash can. It's not in there. It's probably under the movie. It's probably under the movie. Okay, Mona, this is for you or anybody else that knows about this. We're in Walmart right now and Kevin spotted this sriracha salsa and it is by that brand it is by the popular brand and it says it's uh the, from the makers of rolled gold which oh, i didn't yeah. know that anyway have you all tried that and do you like it how many calories is it kevin probably not not many 15 calories for two tablespoons yeah that's not bad at all mm -hmm. so you all will have to let us know if you have ever seen that before and if you've tried it and if you like it like there's red gold yeah, it's stuff. so is it the exact same thing as red gold mm -hmm. since they make it probably not I've been in the bedroom all morning so I didn't know that this had started We're getting a little bit of snow in the bluegrass it's very pretty. I've said before, I don't mind if it snows at all, as long as I don't have to drive in it, and I hate my loved ones, I hate for anyone to have to drive in it, you know? I don't want any of you to have to drive in it either. Um, it's just, it, it can get very dangerous, and I know a lot of you are used to it, but it, it just still scares me. Icy roads and all that, it's just scary to me. So, uh, but it's very pretty. Well, it's now 20 minutes till 5, and I hadn't showed you the snow all day. Really, it, 
Uh, it didn't snow that much, but now it's picked up again. But I figured I would show it to you before it, it gets dark because uh, it'll start to get uh, dark quickly now. Welcome to the semi of the Great American Baking Show. Last time on the Great American Baking we want perfection. Three custard and meringue challenges. That for me is a really special one. Secure Jenny her first star baker. Are you? I think they baked up really well. So now it's time to start the cooling process. A cold cake is much less likely to crumble when it's cut. Taking this to the freezer mm -hmm. uh, so that these will firm up and cut easier. The start well, on the it's really good. Yeah. I smell orange. Yeah. They put it in the orange cream. Yeah. 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 It is Friday, but I'm going to end the vlog right here because it is so cold <laughs> that, and I know a lot of you, this is not cold to you. It's in like the 20s here, um, the very low 20s. I know to a lot of you that, that that is not very cold, but to me, it is extremely cold. And the older I get, actually, I'm lying. It is... 16. 16 degrees right now. Yeah, so I lied. Um, but the older I get, the worse it is for me, and I have a really hard time tolerating the cold. Uh, the high today was supposed to be 19. Saturday, the high is only 18. Sunday, the high is 23. It's going to get a little bit warmer on Monday, and then it'll be nicer on Tuesday, but it's going to rain. So, um, Anyway, the reason I'm telling you that is because Kevin and I plan on staying in the house this weekend. We have TV shows that we can watch. Big Brother UK started back. Yay! So happy. Um, interesting characters. Anyway, um, I know a lot of you don't watch it, so I won't get into it. But um, uh, we'll watch that. We have movies to watch. We have TV shows to watch. And uh, so we have plenty to do to keep us busy here at home without having to go anywhere. So we're going to stay in. So it's going to be pretty boring. I doubt there will be m many filming opportunities. I mean, the only thing I would be filming would be us like sitting on the couch watching TV or me sitting in front of this computer. <laughs> so, uh, but before I go, someone had asked me how and why we started doing reviews and whether we enjoy doing them. So I wanted to make sure that I answer that right now because it's been like weeks ago that I was asked that question and I keep forgetting and I don't, you know, when you all ask me something, I wanna answer you. Um, I don't mean to like try to evade the question or anything like that. Uh, but the reason I started doing uh, reviews, or doing videos in general, was because I started watching, um, well first, I, you know, when I first started getting on the computer, it was just for games and stuff like that. And if it wasn't a game like uh, American McGee's Alice, then it was like basic games like tre Tetris and breakout games and stuff like that. That's the kind of games I like. And uh, um, I also like like Roller Coaster Tycoon, the old one. And The Sims, I was big into The Sims before before it was like too realistic when like the first the first sims and then they had the add-ons i loved the sims and then it got to be where the it was too realistic looking and it would make me dizzy and so i just couldn't even play that but um so i was really into those and then for some reason uh i looked up a youtube video one day or kevin looked up a youtube video and then he started typing something in, or I did, and it was like, wow, there's a whole new world out here. And so I somehow stumbled across this uh, lady, this website, uh, this YouTube channel called The Green Apple Home. And her, it still is up. Um, she has uh, a lot of videos on here. 
uh, the green apple home but she also has she has 20,000 over 20,000 subscribers she also has a another channel called the happy narwhals and that's n-a-r-w-h-a-l-s and that's all one word the happy narwhals she has over 34,000 subscribers on that channel the happy narwhals narwhals so that will tell you how popular she is i fell in love with this family and i uh, started watching some of them and then i thought wait a minute i've got to start from the beginning so i went to the very beginning of her videos and i watched every single one of them and i did the same thing on the green apple home so both channels i did that and then all of a sudden she just stopped and i have no idea why i don't know what happened they uh, they were living in a neighborhood and they decided to uh, buy a house somewhere else. So they lived, um, they, they rented, I think they rented like a trailer somewhere on a property. And they lived in that trailer until their house was finished. They were building this house. They got to pick out like the paint colors and the carpet and all that because it was a new neighborhood going up. And so they finally got into their new home and uh, she showed around the house and stuff like that and she did a couple of videos after that but then all of a sudden she just like stopped so i don't know if i don't know if she felt unsafe because she has three kids she has two girls and a boy i don't know if she felt unsafe i don't know if the kids went to school and maybe got made fun of from one of the other students i don't know if they finally said hey i don't want to be on camera which happens uh, they were so young though i don't think they never acted like they cared um you know that's what we're saying you know as viewers um but her husband her husband's great her name is clarissa her husband's name is neil i'm pretty sure i remember that correctly uh, it's been a long time since i've watched one of her videos but she was just she just i just liked her i liked her she was different I like different personalities. She um, was very genuine. She didn't try to uh, have her hair styled and her makeup done and to be a certain way, wear certain clothes or anything, um, or jewelry before she got on camera. She was a lot like me, I guess, because I don't, a, a lot of times I get on camera for you all and then I look back at it and it's like, why in the world? Because I, I don't look in the mirror. I just don't. Before we sit down to do a review, Kevin will bring something home or we'll bring it home and we'll immediately review it. And that could be after I've, I have literally gone from crawling on the floor with Gavin looking under things for for his men to coming in here doing a review <laughs> it's like oh my gosh I, <laughs> you know i look awful but i mean that's I, I just i don't know i don't think about it and i figure that i figure you all are watching it to hear about the food not to look at me you know and uh, if you're looking at me and, and dissecting my hair and stuff then you you know you're watching for the wrong reason you should be focused on the food because that's what's important um but anyway, that's the reason. Clarissa's the reason. The Green Apple Home, the Happy Narwhals, she is the reason why I started vlogging. Because I thought, if she can do this, I can do this. I loved, have always loved, way before um, I watched her videos, I personally love to take pictures. And I was a blogger. I blogged for uh, like five years, I blogged. And all of a sudden, I did not feel like I could say what I wanted to say anymore without getting harsh criticism. So I ended the blog. The blog. I stopped blogging. And when I stopped blogging, I took it down. I took it. I had people that followed me on there. And I literally stripped the whole thing from the internet completely. You can't find it anymore. And I kept a backup for me, of course. But... I know that bothered a lot of people that I basically just disappeared and that was not nice. It was very unfair of me to do it that way. I shouldn't have done it that way. The reason I did it that way though was because I didn't want anyone to copy my stuff before I left. I didn't want anybody to take all of my pictures and keep a file of them for their personal 
reasons and put them up later maybe on another website or something because I'm not talking about like family pictures but I've taken a lot of pictures of products and things like that and and um, you know some people give credit some people don't and um, I didn't want anyone to take those pictures and use them so I just took the whole thing down that was my reason um, but so I was already in that mode of keeping memories of I'm going to take pictures of everything. I mean, I'm the photographer in the family. If I'm not taking the pictures, they don't get taken. And it's been that way, um, you know, since my mom was alive. And I'm, you know, I'm the ones that, that's taken the, uh, the pictures of Christmas. Uh, when Kevin and I first got married, we bought a video camera, massive. I, I have a couple pictures of Kevin holding it. Massive video camera. It looks like something that a news crew would use. You had to hold it on your shoulder and uh, you talk about getting tired. Anyway, um, so I was already in that mode of, of taking pictures, video, keeping memories. I like to look at stuff like that. I keep, I like to get on my computer instead of, you know, you won't walk around my house and see family pictures. You don't see pictures hanging on the wall. You don't see pictures sitting on tables or anything like that because I keep them all on the computer. And if I feel like looking at that person's picture, I will go to their file on my computer and I will look it up and I know exactly where it is. I know, I've looked at them so many times that I really have a little hard drive in here. I have them stored. I know what I have a picture of and what I don't have a picture of. It's, it's you know, that's just something that, that's some uh, something that I do keep in my brain is, is things like that. Um, as a matter of fact, I made copies of all the old pictures, old family photos, and I have them on my computer. So I was able to give my sister all of my, the photo albums that we had that was taking up space. I would rather not have all those photo albums. I would rather have them on my computer than taking up tons. Of, they were taking up the bottom of a whole bookshelf in there. Um, I would rather not take up that space and she can have them, you know, and I have them in a on here so but as far as doing reviews I I guess I had watched somebody doing reviews that's that I mean I don't remember the first few reviews that we did but maybe I just saw somebody or heard of somebody or maybe I just thought I know I know early on we did like the Lay's do us a flavor potato chips I remember doing that not long after we first moved in this house and um, that was something I thought, I'm gonna get my nieces to try these because I wanna get their expressions on camera. So that's on there. If you do a search for um, the Lay's Do Us A Flavor on my channel, then you will see my nieces. They're the ones that did the first review of those. And uh, you know, some of them they loved. And of course, it's an old video. Um, I'm trying to... Yes, I'm being rude. I'm typing while I'm talking to you. Lay's do us a flavor. So I'm trying to get an idea of when that was. Ah, that was three years ago. So, and it's only had 767 views. So it's had hardly any views at all, but it's the one with the three flavors. They had chicken and waffles, cheesy garlic bread, and sriracha. And I think at that time, we had not even heard of Sriracha. I'm thinking that was the one because it's been, it was three years ago. And I don't even know if we knew how to pronounce it correctly. I mean, that we just have not, had not been exposed to Sriracha. So, uh, so that's the answer to that. Um, and then do we enjoy doing the reviews? I would say yes, absolutely. Um, I think, uh, at least for me, I love trying new things. I can tell you Kevin loves trying new things. When we go to the grocery store, the uh, we love looking for new things and trying new things. Kevin loves looking for the newest product. Somebody asked me if we like doing reviews, if we enjoy doing reviews. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some things I enjoy better than others. <laughs> well, some things, if they taste, if they taste good, then yeah. we enjoy trying them. Yeah, I don't mind that. So, 
So anyway, that uh, uh, I enjoy doing the reviews. He enjoys doing the reviews. We love finding new things. I love it when um, when you all send me pictures on Instagram and Facebook, and you tell me about new things that are coming out. I always appreciate it and love it. So, but anyway, I've rambled on. I just wanted to make sure I answered that question in this vlog. Do you have anything you want to say? I told him we were going to stay in the house this weekend. Definitely. So he might do a metal metal earth. Maybe. Maybe do a project or something. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week, and I'll see you next week.